Okay, we have all the mounting holes deburred. Now, these wires need to go through this rubber grommet like I showed you this kit that I got from off Amazon. And because one of the transformer th leads has three wires and one has two, we may end up using two different size grommets. And this is where the hole in the chassis might need to be made just a little oval shaped for the two wires to come through. And that's fairly easy to do. I'll show you when I'm doing that, how that's done. And we'll go with this next size bigger grommet for the side with three wires. Fits perfect. Okay, so one larger and one small. So now these grommets, let me get, put this on here so maybe you can see better. These grommets have a center part that's thinner than these two outside parts. So you want to get a drill bit that's the diameter of the center part that so you can slip this lip over and it holds the grommet in place. You don't want to make the hole too big or then the grommet just falls through the hole. So and you can pretty much just eyeball this by holding the grommet up to a light and then holding the drill bit up and see which drill bit is the same size as that rubber inner diameter part. And it's usually a fairly large size drill bit compared to the wire. So don't be surprised when you need to drill a fairly big hole for the grommet to fit into. That drill bit right there looks perfect for the larger size one. And the smaller one is probably going to be about two, yep, two, two drill bit sizes down. So don't get confused where you're going to have the small hole and the big hole. The small hole goes toward the outside of the case because the two wires go to the speaker jacks and the big hole goes to the output tubes. So we'll drill the small hole first. Don't get confused. I mean, make sure you're drilling the right hole. Don't drill out big one of the mounting screw holes. Make sure you're, the grommet hole you're doing in the middle. Don't ask me how I know that. Now, the other little trick here, if you want to make this hole a little bit uh, oval, is go like that with the drill bit, and then like that with the drill bit. As you can see, it makes just a slight oval on that hole. Then when the grommet goes in, the hole will be perfect for those two wires. On the three wire hole, drilling it round is fine because the three wires makes a pretty round thing to go through the grommet. Okay, now we get, be careful dusting these chips off. It's real easy to scratch this powder coating with the drill bit chips because they're really, they have really sharp edges on them.
and knock, knock the chips off your piece of wood before you put it on here and maybe flip it over to a clean side so that when you set this down you don't there's not wood uh, metal chips embedded in the top of the wood that will scratch the powder coating A lot of people say that this metalworking part of the amplifier build is the most intimidating. For me, it's the it's one of the most fun parts because if you're careful, you end up with something that's really nice looking. And to me, this is really the artistic part of building the amplifier is the aesthetics and how well that you do the metalwork when you're when you're at this part of the amp. Now here's how you put these little grommets in. Sometimes I find I I drilled a hole that's not quite big enough and I have to come back and drill it a little bigger. You don't want to make the grommet so tight that you tear it putting it in. I, but you want it as, you want it pretty tight. Like that one just went in. That was perfect. You really need to be careful if you're if you're trying to use a screwdriver or something like that to put the grommet in. That um, it's real easy to tear up the grommet. The other thing you can do is flip it over and get your fingernail or your edge of your finger and flip the little lip over. And there's, there's those two 